Hello, this is Lars from Native Instruments. In this video we will explain how to route sounds from the Machine 2 plugin to single audio tracks in Ableton Live. This setup allows you to tweak Ableton Live's track parameters such as volume and panorama, as well as add effects to individual sounds rather than an entire group or master. First, load Machine 2 as a VST instrument into an empty MIDI track. You can find it in the browser sidebar under Plugins, VST. Next, in Machine, make sure the Load Patterns button is activated and load a drum kit in Group A. Lower Machine's output volume and press play to hear what we just loaded. Now, assign the sounds in Machine to their own individual output channels. To do this, make sure that the Sound tab is selected. Click the Channel icon button and choose Output. Select the first sound you want to route. In our example, it's the kick drum. In the Audio tab, under Destination, choose External One. Apply the above steps to all other machine sounds you want to route to separate channels in Ableton Live, selecting a different output for each sound. So for our second sound, which is a snare, select External 2. For the third sound, which is a closed hi-hat, External 3. And so on. Now we've routed all the Machine sounds to their own individual output channels. Close your Machine instance. Back in Ableton Live, create as many audio tracks as you need to route all of your Machine sounds. You can do this either via the menu entry Create, Insert Audio Track, or by using the shortcut Command T on a Mac or Control T on a Windows computer. The shortcuts are handy to quickly create multiple tracks. Now, assign a machine channel to each live audio track. For this, you have to make sure the In-Out section is displayed. You can toggle this by clicking the I.O. button in the bottom right corner of your Ableton Live session. In the first audio track's In-Out section, go to the area called Audio From and select Machine 2 instead of External In. In the drop-down menu below, define which machine channel is played back via Live's audio track. Start with the entry Out 2. The machine Out 1 will always be automatically routed to the MIDI track hosting machine. Carry out the above steps for all Ableton Live audio tracks and assign a different machine channel to each one of them. Next, choose the last audio track by clicking its name. Hold down the shift button and keep clicking the left arrow button on your keyboard until you have chosen all the audio tracks. Make sure not to include the MIDI track hosting machine here. Then, click the in button in the monitor section of the first audio track. Finally, click any of the audio tracks to deselect the group. Lower the master output of Ableton Live, as now all of your machine group or master levels and effects are bypassed. This means your machine sounds may have different volume and sound different as the signals are routed directly. Now, when you press play, you can see all of your machine sounds coming out of separate tracks in Ableton Live. The machine sound assigned to external one, our kick drum, is sending its audio to the MIDI track hosting the machine 2 VST. The machine sound assigned to external two, our snare, is sending its audio to the first audio track. The machine sound assigned to external three, our closed hi-hat, is sending its audio to the second audio track, and so on. 
If you solo one of them, you only hear the sound assigned to it. To demonstrate how to process channels independently in Ableton Live, we are loading a reverb plugin into the audio track containing a snare sound. Now you can hear how this single sound is being affected by the reverb plugin. Feel free to add more effects to your audio tracks or try out different mixes by adjusting the volume, panorama, as well as send effect settings in Ableton Live.